sir. All right, sir, my name is Jeffrey. What is your name? They call me Big Joe. Big Joe, yeah. I can see why. Big <laughs> Joe, what are you doing here today? I'm just passing through. I have nothing to do with this, this uh, whatever you want to call this. I don't, I don't even understand why they're having this. They had an inauguration yesterday, and now we have all this. What did Trump do for all of this to happen? He just got um, um, came into office. What is this? I see signs of unity and love and peace, and yet uh, at his inauguration, they were burning a McDonald's, a Starbucks, limousines, and anarchy in the streets. This is the, uh, what is this? When he was elected rightfully, I mean, uh, by the majority of the country, that, you know, so even though there are half the country like this, that disapprove? What about the other half that do like him? What about them? What about their feelings? When, Trump, when Obama was president and he pushed his political agenda, political correctness, and he, um, he pushed all his agendas, did you see people doing all this? No, because we united behind our American president and we just, we, we stuck it out and everything. So, what? 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 Yeah, can you come in here? Come in here, come in here. Come in, and, come and in. Trump was no, not. Trump was not. What? What made him not? When was he not elected? You're oblivious. You on a bicycle and you're oblivious. You're electoral. What are you talking about? Wait a minute. Are you? What do you think we're here for? Trump. We're here to make a change, and people like you change? are the reason there's still a problem. L listen, people I'm like against you. political people correctness. Like you. No, people like you. Like have you. Your political correctness no, agenda. History. Political no, correctness. History. You know no, what? History. Political correctness no, is un-American. Why you think? You know why Trump couldn't get anyone to Trump. his inauguration Come because on. of the um, McCarthyism Hollywood that was going to stigmatize somebody for supporting Trump. This is the United States of America. You could support Trump and still be without. Ostracizing. You want to ostracize someone and then you're going to turn around and make life difficult for them? That's a political correctness is a disease. Oh, yeah? I feel sorry for you because Planned Parenthood is a racist system. Margaret Sanger was a Planned Parenthood. You know what? Margaret Sanger thought very little low of black people. She thought they were ignorant and they shouldn't exist and reproduce. And you know what Planned Parenthood is about? Parenthood. You're a liar. Parenthood That's is a lie. To sterilize black people. You, you cannot put down. You cannot put down. You should be against um, Planned you Parenthood. We shouldn't be funding no. any type of no. Planned Parenthood. Planned Parenthood is a joke. No, and anyone that doesn't really know their history, you know your history no, about Margaret Sanger, the beginning of Planned no, Parenthood. No. Planned Parenthood no. is the most racist no. organization. No. Know your history before you start supporting some. Okay. You see that? You try. Try. What? I'm. That's why I'm not a woman. I'm a man. A straight man. I'm a man. A straight man. Uh, you know your history about Planned Parenthood. Do you know about Planned Parenthood? Uh, Margaret Sanger. Man, Margaret Sanger, the, po the whole reason for Planned Parenthood was to sterilize black people so they wouldn't reproduce. There's people, it's helping. There are people, it's helping. It changed with the rest of the world. Yeah, okay, so Trump is not a racist. Trump is not an officer. Trump is not a racist. I'm sorry. Sorry. You can't speak sorry to who? What? People that don't Everybody support him? In the people world that you, people that don't support him? I'm not offended by Trump. And the half the country is not offended by Trump. So what about them? What about them? What about the rest of the country that's not offended by Trump? What about them? Huh? Well, everybody's afraid of you guys. Because if they stand up for Trump, they're deemed a racist and everything, and everybody's terrified. And you got them doing it because of political correctness and all this craziness. This is wrong. This is the United States of America. You don't like, you say he's not your president, then you shouldn't be here. Leave. Many of the, um, um, those elitist Hollywood um, people that said they were going to leave, they didn't leave. They're protesting now. You don't like him, you don't want to be here, then leave. This is a free country. What you're doing now, you're going to bring anarchy, and then you know what's going to happen? Martial law. And you, these freedoms that you're talking about now, you're going to lose them. And then you're going to understand what real, what a real situation. You have people in this group who are socialists, who are, uh, are anti-American and anti-our freedom, and they're latching on, they're latching on, they're latching on your different cause.
causes and they're playing on your emotions so that they can get you all riled up so that you can turn around and continue to do what you're doing and divide the country and then one and then bring about chaos and anarchy so that they can bring martial law that's what's really going on open your eyes and use your head that's what's happening I know for a fact, I've seen these socialists in your group. I've seen them at rally. They even make signs for you people. And you don't understand what's going on. You have to open your heart. You better be smart. You might have some good causes and everything, but you need to choose your battles. You, Trump didn't do anything yet. Choose your battles correctly. Use your head. Huh? Education, what's the problem? What is Trump doing about education? He just got into office. Huh? Education, not for nothing. I'm going to tell you something right now. Uh, everybody is being, the controlled media, education has taught you guys that you're following the controlled media, that whatever they, de whoever they demonize, you just automatically follow. And that's what education does for you then we need to change it because you shouldn't be like that. You should be free thinkers and you should be able to see right from wrong. You don't because you're following whoever, get, someone gets on TV and says, this is so, and then you just follow it. That's not using your head. That's not being smart. People, wake up, be smart. Okay, you want to be logical. You want to be smart, be smart. But don't follow all this nonsense just because, just because, because you want to be, there's so many people that supported Trump, but they were afraid to openly support him. But you know when they supported him? In the voting booth. And that's what, what, what all of you people didn't understand. A lot of people supported Trump, but they were afraid, They're even your friends, but they were afraid to tell you they supported him. And you know what? When they went to the voting booth, they voted for him. And that's where you got, that's where all of you people right now, all of you people are now shocked because you couldn't believe that he could be elected because nobody thought he would have been elected. But guess what? He is elected and he is our president. And you need to you need unite behind him now because you know what? If you continue to do what you're doing, you are going to divide this country. You are going to bring about martial law. You're going to lose your rights. You're going to lose your freedoms. And then your biggest fear, he will be a dictator then. You better be smart, people. You don't understand what's about ready to happen. Wake up and be smart.